my YouTube, um, doing my very first video today. Um, I'm actually at my mom's house here. Haven't been here for a while. Uh, got my camera back. I left it here some time ago. And uh, I got it because I want to start doing some YouTube videos on my phones. So, anyway, this is the only rotary phone that's at my mother's. It's a uh, night or uh, yeah, it's a 1958, I believe, Northern Electric. I got this phone when uh, one of my grandparents' neighbors died, and I went in the house, and it was the only thing left in there, still hanging in the kitchen. So I grabbed it up. That was actually before I was really into phones, uh, but I thought it was, you know, it was pretty cool. I grabbed it up and. It's actually the first phone I ever collected, so it's actually a good video to start with. So, anyway, here it is here. Sorry, I'm new at taking these videos here. Um, I don't know how to zoom or anything yet. Yeah. Or maybe you can't zoom on a video, I don't know. But anyway, it's a, uh, yeah, as I said, a Northern Electric. Got the old, uh, now the thing is I like about this is, uh, it has the NE logo here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I wish I knew how to focus and all that. Bad light. But, uh, Yeah. Well, anyway, it has the NE logo there, which is unlike any other Northern Electric phone I have. So you know, there's a the little NE there, and then it says patented 1954, 55, and 60, made in Canada, of course. And then on the G handset here, it. Uh, it says Northern Electric. It's not the same NE um, logo as on the phone. But yeah, it's a 1958. Maybe the handset was replaced. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. The operator, uh, the operator's on the phone there. Saying to hang up, and then of course it does that. But, uh, Anyway, here. Sorry, guys. That all. I'll take the. Uh, see what years on this here. Huh. There is no year on this. Hold on, I'm gonna set this thing down. Yeah, so uh, the receiver has no year. This is probably the very first one that I've seen that doesn't have a year on it. I don't know if it's uh, worn off. It does have the patent date of 1953. NE, made in Canada. It's a U1. Uh, let's see what it says inside here. And no date in there. So I'll throw this. So I'll throw this back on. There goes that again. And check this out here. So this is a seventy nine. It's a 79 transmitter. Yeah, the NE there. So, yeah. Anyway, I just noticed that it doesn't have the middle hole. 
and that doesn't have the metal hole either. Hey guys, <clears throat> just gonna finish this video here. I had some camera troubles there. I was trying to figure out how to focus and zoom and all that, and uh, still haven't figured it out. This is a high tech camera. I don't know if it does it itself, so I'm gonna try holding it here and see what it does. Hmm, no, it's not not focusing or zooming yeah I don't know anyway but uh, I'll finish up finish up my video of this phone here um, so anyway yeah as I said it's a northern electric 1958 um, my mom does have a uh, DSL internet here so what I did when I installed this phone is uh, here I'm going to take this off I put the uh, oh shit it's bulging out there but when I put this jack in I uh, when we renovated the basement I put this jack in and where the phone line came up I installed the filter right in the wall so you wouldn't have to have one of those big plates or anything but uh, another good thing about this phone too is it has the uh, it has the original back plate here as you can see this thing comes off and uh, this is the back plate with this hooks right on goes to the holes and then if you didn't have this thing, these are kind of hard to find. I think I just broke it actually. I hope I didn't. But uh, no, it's good. It goes on there and it and it hides hides that. I got a couple a couple other ones, a black one, but uh, that's the nice thing about that. It kind of hides the uh, the wall plate. So, I'm going to try and put this back up here. And as I said, guys, I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about the uh, footage here. i got to set this damn thing. Got her back up. Now, I'll, I'll be quick here. I'm going to just show you the inside of the phone here. Because you know, that's always interesting. Whenever I watch phone videos, I always hope people show the inside. Now, see what Bell Canada... What, well, what Be Bell Canada used to do. I'm trying to get the right light. See all those stamps in the corner there? Whenever Bell Canada came to your house and worked on a phone, they put a stamp in there of the year that they did it. So you see, I'm trying to get this light a little better here. Uh, but anyway, there's the original 554-58. Then there's also a 73, 80, 81, 75. So this one's been worked on a few times. As I said, the the uh, uh, the handset, sorry, was replaced, I, I believe. But uh, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, I think the dial is different in this one as well. Um, so 
sounds a little bit rough. This phone doesn't get used here much, as my mom and sister are not big rotary phone fans. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they hate the loud ringing and all that. But uh, Yeah, and then the bell has 12.58. So, yeah, 58. And uh, it's got the old cloth wires, some of them anyway. Uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good old phone. Yeah, it's a it's a good phone. Give you some dial tone. I don't know where the the mic is on this camera. <laughs> I think that's it right there. Give you some dial tone. <laughs> But anyway, there she is. The first rotary phone I've ever had. And you know what? I'm gonna give her a ring here. It's you know, might as well. Call my mom's number here. There it goes. Nice. That's soft. This is a very loud phone, guys. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Good old 1958 Northern Electric.